Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody emailed me today, a viewer, subscriber, on how to draw this endless knot, and they sent me a clip art, and you can trace it, but it doesn't really do any good. Um, there might be, and it was a pretty big file, and I did everything right, so I just redrew it, and it's not that hard. It It's a little bit... Um, kind of tricky and first of all it's it's um, it came to me like that at a, that angle and that's a little harder to work with so I leveled it out on a playing field and I measured just kind of getting closer I, I, I made a rectangle and it was about two and a half inches so I made a two and a half inch block and then I Use my, well, I'll just show you how to do it real quick. If you have a 2.5 inch, sorry about that, 2.5 inch block, and you set your nudge distance for 2.5, control D, and then you can do as many as you need. And what I did, I basically set it on my picture and then I just copied them down how many I needed. And then I went through it. And it's real important after you make your block to group them together. So you can take get that out of there later. And, and then I used my favorite tool, which is the Smart Fill tool. And I just filled in these blocks. And kind of thinking about the ones that are empty. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but you, you don't fill them in because it makes it a little bit easier to uh, figure it out after a while. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. you got to kind of watch what you're doing. And um, I'm probably filling in more than I should. But you can always go back and unfill them. But you can see how I'm talking about it's easier to... Uh, Fill them in. Now, because my box is grouped together, I can grab it. I can just move it out of the way. And here's my original. And I'm just going to move it out of the way. I'm still keeping my nudge factor on 2.5 inches. And then take these blocks and left click, no fill, right click. And then you might as well go ahead and turn them into uh, black lines. And I'm going to go with, with black and 10 points and scale with object in case you want to change the size later. So you've got this. And this is where the it's a little bit tricky. But if you bring your clip art in, you know you need a to take out these lines so you can take your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines so far down and we need to delete that line that line that line and it's a little bit tricky you just got to keep watching what you're doing copying the, the clip art next to the right and we want to leave that line we want to take away that line We want to leave that line, but we want to take away this line, this line, leaving that, taking all these. And you could always go on a straight line and delete uh, your lines. We want to leave that line, uh, probably take all these lines out, delete this line. Delete that line. No, we actually need that line. See, that's what I'm saying. It's a little bit tricky. And it's a lot easier sometimes just to pass your... Um, so we actually need a new line, but it's no big deal. We need a line right there. So you go from node to node. And you might as well... Let's back up here. Un Make sure you're not selecting anything. Go down here. 
and change your graphic line temporarily to 10 points black so you won't have to go back and change them later then when you draw that line node to node it'll make that same line so we need another line here that I took away we need to delete this line anyway you see where I'm getting at we need to delete this line all these lines and this line we need to delete these two lines we need to delete no nope, I messed up we need to delete these two lines going down here we need to save that line we need to delete that line that line that line and that line these two lines and I think I've got it I think there's a couple extra lines this line should not be here and this line should not be here and that kind of looks funny but so what it does it's just it goes under over under over under over under over and you just kind of go back and if you need to check a line then once you have all those lines just select it all and weld it together and you can always change the line thickness you know at any time make it a little bit thicker and because we scaled with object and they're welded together you can make it any size you want anyway hope that helped them a little bit and thank you for watching